I'm mainly inspired by actually everything. I see shapes, colors, but mainly it's my brain or my thoughts or my feelings, being in the nature, floating and seeing things. That's so much we are surrounded by in the daily life. It's quite it's like, like what I see, but like mostly like the human interaction, like it's what people are doing that could like uh, lend you to an idea that like becomes like your next series or like your next project. I studied teaching before, art and mathematics, but I was mainly drawing and taking photos. And during that studies I had to paint and since then I never could go anywhere else and it started to be my main passion and my language for life in a way. When I was like six or seven, I used to go to this room after coming from school and like myself in and then just like draw for hours. At that time I didn't really thought about art, I didn't know anything about art, just like more like, uh, just like I wanted to imitate what I saw on magazines, television, maybe school, books, drawings, I just like wanted to draw. I think that's when I decided to become an artist. It hasn't been happening so much before to create an exhibition, to create artwork, collaborative artworks together without being together. Me and like a uh, friend artist, Hazmin Hussein, we just like we were preparing for an exhibition that's so, like related to the revolution. And then like Sudan moves c came and like it, and it was connected to the change that was coming on in Sudan. In the February, when it, like things start to get serious in the country, and the coronavirus really affected a lot of people. Um, when it was clear that Monty will not be able to come to Germany, I was like, oh my god, how are we going to do this? I couldn't really do anything. I, like, I couldn't really paint, draw, like just like I was drawing for some time and then like I stopped completely when you feel like uh, it's not going to end, you know? Like at least me, like I lost the desire to, to be productive that much. We got frustrated at the beginning because we realized how difficult it is to be just working digitally and will we be able to do the same quality as we would maybe do in an analog exhibition. But as soon as we understood more the concept of a digital exhibition and as soon as we saw the space, it became much easier for us. The colors you sent me are perfect and I know perfectly how to work with them. As we discussed that we will paint with each other's colors, right, which give us the emotion. And I think if we would be, for instance, in the studio together, you and I, you would just tell me, like, here, Julia, what about this color? And then we could easily work with it, right? <laughs> like, for me, it was like, I was, maybe it was, it was easier for me because I, I was working with those colors before. So, like, it's not like something I just, like, uh, worked on. Our main idea is the crisis, the colors of crisis, the feeling of crisis, and like somehow to translate like what it means to get used to the feeling of it or the colors of it. This kind of like became like uh, became the norm or became like something like normal and it wasn't like this before and became like some part of the fashion, part of the public space, you could see it. And for me like getting used to the medical mass in the streets so the mint green is my color of crisis, more or less, even if in my normal work it has a different meaning. And there's a huge veil as an installation piece in the middle of the exhibition room. And for me it's like feelings that cannot unfold themselves, you cannot fully recognize them. And they're somehow overlapped by the critical or crisis colors and feelings. Collaborating with Julia, I think it's really good because she's a friend. So we could like even collaborate in a, a more deeper level. Unless you have uh, ugliness, you never recognize beauty or like the other way around. True. You have to have something to contrast to be the beauty of God, you know. I really hope that one day we all can be together at one place and celebrate this project together.